Hi, and thanks so much for joining in to watch today's video. Um, this is a program that's offered as a partnership between the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Um, today we are going to be drawing a really fun project. We're going to be drawing what spring looks like through a keyhole. So I'm really excited about today's drawing. Um, the materials that you're going to be needing today um, are just going to be probably your you know, pencil and a paper and then crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have on hand. You can really use whatever materials that you'd like to use today. All right, so here's a little preview of what we're going to be drawing. I encourage you to be very creative today as you're doing this. So this is just my example. It's not what you have to do. You're not limited by any means to what I'm drawing, okay? So the first thing we're doing here is drawing what you can see a circle and a triangle, but then we erase the part where that circle connects with the, um, the triangle. And make sure when you're drawing these shapes that you're filling up your entire page here so you can do this uh, vertically. You could actually turn your paper more of a portrait style and you would be able to have more space so that you have a bigger keyhole, which is actually what I would recommend. Um, on my screen doing it digitally, it's a little bit easier for me to do it horizontally like this in a landscape style, but I would still recommend doing it the other way so that way you have the most amount of room in that keyhole. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the space around the keyhole rather than starting in the space inside the keyhole, but feel free if you'd rather, um, you can go ahead and do the inside and do the outside later. I might add some more details to the outside space later, but for now, I'm just going to leave it at this little um, wood grain kind of texture as if this key um, keyhole is in a wooden door. So I'm just going to add some details there. Now in the inside, I want to make it look like a uh, landscape. So I'm drawing that horizon line kind of diagonally showing the separation between the ground and the sky. And then I'm just adding in some other details. So blue sky, green grass, white clouds in the sky. And here I'm adding in some detail work for um, what will eventually turn into some trees and some other grass areas. So you wanna make sure that you're adding plenty of depth to these parts. So you can see now I'm starting to add in some lighter highlighted parts. So that would be where the sun, um, which you can draw the sun of course, um, would be hitting the tops of the trees and the little bushes here. So remember that you can draw whatever you want though. So it, this is what you think would be um, inside of a keyhole, meaning those little, uh, where the key goes in the door. If you look through that, what kind of springy looking space would you find? So again, customize this, make it your own. You do not need to copy exactly what I'm drawing. Um, you can of course follow along as much as you'd like, but I would encourage you to think of other ways that you can make this unique um, and just have fun with it, of course. But um, so I've added in a river now. I am now working on the flowers. So I'm adding some flowers into the foreground and the midground. The foreground is that space that's right in front um, at the bottom of the keyhole. And then the midground is the space kind of in the middle, um, right in front of the river. So um, you can add other details. I'm just making some simple yellow and red flowers. I might add in a little bit of shading here in a minute, um, but keeping it really simple. So that I would encourage you to think of other ways that you can make it more unique. Maybe you have a birdhouse or a park bench, or maybe there's a little fairy garden. There's a lot of really unique opportunities that you can um, take here where you can really create it and make it your own. So now I'm just adding in a few extra details with the background with those trees that are further away. So I'm adding tree trunks and a few shadowed out areas. Um, I thought it would be cute to add a little fish here. So I'm gonna put a little fish that's splashing in the river that um, is just taking a little leap, I guess. Um, so again, make it really unique. Maybe you want to put a rainbow in the sky. Maybe you want to include some other animals or people. You can do whatever you want here. So have fun um, and really make this your own. 
and I'd encourage you to use lots of great colorful spring colors. So I'm adding in um, some pink flowers into the trees and just into the space in general to add some extra color because right now I feel like it looks pretty green and blue. So I just wanted to add extra colors. So I am going to add one more little detail here to the background or the space around the keyhole. So I'm just going to sketch out because um, a lot of times little keyholes will have kind of this metal um, space around it. So that's what I'm adding now. So adding that metal texture, some highlights, and some shadows as well to that space. Um, but feel free at this point to add more details to, like if I have that wood grain, it's pretty simple. So, um, you know, I might go back in later now and add more details. Um, so go ahead and have fun, create a really fantastic spring space, and I hope that you all can tune in next week. Have fun.